Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a haul for you guys. Now I don't typically do haul videos because I really can't afford to buy a whole bunch of different things at one time. Uh, so when I make purchases, they are pretty much like scattered out, little little things here and there, um, but never just a big massive haul. I can't really afford to do that. So a couple of these things are from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale and a couple of other things are things that I picked up today. So I just thought since I do have a good amount of products here, I would go ahead and share it with you guys. Now I am barefaced in this video because hopefully <laughs> when this video is done, I will be on to filming the second one, which is Either it's going to be like a full face using drugstore products, um, kind of like a tutorial or a full face get ready with me, which I have only done one of those and I didn't feel very comfortable with it. So I thought about maybe trying it again, <clears throat> but uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys would prefer. More like a drugstore full face tutorial or a get ready with me. I'd really like to know. That way I can go ahead and film that video because I'll be making that video after this one goes live. All right, for some reason, I have been on a crazy foundation kick. So I did buy a restock of my, where is it? My uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is my number one go-to favorite foundation. It, not just because of the way that it makes my face look, but because of the fact of the match. It matches my skin tone so good. I love this stuff so much. I mean, the price, hello, you cannot beat it. Um, so this is my perfect shade match. I'm in the shade 118, so I had to buy a backup of this. Now, I've been wanting to try uh, the dewy side of foundation. Pretty much all my foundations are either like a natural finish or a matte finish, um, but I've never tried dewy. So I've looked at the Maybelline um, Dewy and Smooth, but they have never had a color for me. Um, the shade 118 and the matte and poreless uh, only appeared just last year. That's a new shade. They didn't have it before. Um, so when that came about, that's the only shade that was my match. Nothing else was, um, nothing else would work because it was either way too pink, too light, too dark. It, it just didn't work. So I saw that they had the shade 118 in the Dewy and Smooth. I'm like, oh, cool. 118 is my perfect match in the matte and poreless so why not the 118 in dewy and smooth i thought they would be the same exact shade um but they're not can you tell the difference this is the matte and poreless 118 it is definitely lighter this one is darker so that kind of stinks it is a little bit darker for my skin tone now during the summertime i don't know if that's going to change because i do tan and we are going to spend a lot of time at Whitewater. So maybe it will match me then. But as of right now, it is too dark, um, which I thought that was kind of crazy. I don't know if it's because of the formula that it's a little bit darker, um, but I expected 118 to be the same shade. Is that, that might be crazy. Um, so I was looking at the other foundations and they just were too pink, too light, too dark. Um, so I picked up 110, which is porcelain, um, which obviously is too light, but I figure maybe I could mix it a little bit with this one, um, and kind of see if I can get my perfect shade. I've never really, um, mixed foundations before, but I'm hoping to try. And I wanted to get the same formula just because of the fact I didn't think that, um, you know, any of my matte formulas would be good to mix with a dewy formula. So that's why I went ahead and picked up um, the same brand. Uh, hopefully it works, but we shall see. <laughs> and I guess I'm on some kind of foundation kick. I don't know what is wrong with me, um, but I picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Um, I picked this up, yes, because of the Jeffree Star video. Um, he seemed to really enjoy it, so I really wanted to try it. They don't have a wide shade range, definitely a lot worse than Maybelline. I have no idea if this is even going to be my shade. Um, looking at the little cards underneath, uh, you know, you can never really tell. So <laughs> I'm going to test this out. Hopefully it'll be my shade, but we'll see. 
and then I've got one more foundation like I said <laughs> I want a foundation kick um, I just bought this today I just happened to like glance at it I was like oh that's kind of a, a nice shade range. Um, I was at Target, so I picked up the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. Now, um, looking at this in the bottle, it actually looks like it might match me, but I mean, you can never really tell until you get it on your skin. So I'm excited to try this out. It's supposed to be full coverage, um, which most of my foundations are like a medium to full coverage. So it'll be really interesting to see what this baby can do. Um, it does not have the best reviews on Ulta. Uh, so we'll see. All right, so I got this uh, next product as a recommendation from one of the YouTubers that I watch. Um, I really, really enjoy her. Her name is Wanna Makeup. I will have her channel linked right here if you guys wanna show her some love. Um, but this is the Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot treatment. Um, now this is supposed to reduce blemishes, size, and redness within four hours. Now I did not buy this for me. I did buy this for my daughter. Um, you know, she's becoming a teenager and she's just having some problems with some acne and I really want to help her get that under control. Um, so she says that she used this on her uh, 15 year old son and it works um, so we're going to test this out of course with little spots at first uh, and see what this baby can do so hopefully this works and I did get that during the um, Sephora sale uh, of course this is a restock because all I had was a little sample size but I love this one so much uh, this is the buxom full-on plumping lip cream in the shade dolly this is my ultimate favorite lip gloss they have a couple different shades that I love um, I love Dolly, I love um, Bellini, um, there's like a couple other ones, I can't remember, White Russian, um, and like one or two more that I absolutely love as far as color wise, but I was running out of Dolly, so I went ahead and picked it back up. Of course, this is a restock. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is my ultimate favorite drugstore mascara. I love this stuff so much. I will repurchase this over and over and over again. Uh, and I always get it in the blackest black. So highly recommend this. So I just started getting into lashes and I've been testing out a couple here and there. Um, and so far, these are my absolute favorite. They're from Kiss Products. They are the Look So Natural Lashes. These are the Poise uh, Lashes. I love these. They are very flirty. Um, they're a little bit fluffy, but nothing that is too over the top, especially for a beginner. The band on this is so easy to use. It is a very, very, very tiny band. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, the glue showing or, you know, I don't know, just, I love the band on these and I love the way they look on my eyes. And I actually don't even have to cut these because they fit my eyes perfect. Hallelujah. Uh, so um, these are a great purchase. This is $8 and you get five different lashes. Now I also picked up the Ardell Full Mink um, 811s. I have used one pair already. I wasn't a fan of these. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it was the glue in between the lashes showed a little bit so I think if I use these I am going to have to make sure uh, that I use a eyeliner um, so it will hide that a little bit with this I don't have a problem I can use these with or without an eyeliner um, so I'm going to use these up first and save the good guys for last <laughs> all right I love this stuff I have kind of like normal to dry skin it really depends on the season <laughs> I do try and keep my face hydrated but sometimes it just feels extra dry uh, so I love the Tarte Maracuja oil this stuff is a lifesaver especially when it comes to my matte foundations I make sure I apply this before my foundation goes on so it definitely it keeps my foundation from clinging everywhere this was half off at Ulta and this stuff will basically last me all year long um, so what a great purchase this was Look how big that bottle is. I'm not, still not finished with my uh, sample size, so I'm excited that this is going to basically last me a whole year, probably till like 
not even the fall but next year's spring ulta 21 days of beauty this seems to go on sale quite often and i'm really happy about that all right so i did pick up uh two wipes i always seem to test out different kind of wipes and keep going back to the brand at walmart i i love them they do the job sometimes they sting my eyes but it's not really that big of a deal um because they get all my makeup off now I picked up, um, this is the Sensitive Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes, and this is supposed to be compared to Simple. Simple is also one of my favorite um, cleansing wipes, but they're really expensive. It's like 7 or $8 for a 25-pack, um, and this was only, uh, what, two-something? So this is the Target brand, so I really want to test this out, um, and if that works, that's definitely going to be a lot better on my wallet. Um, and then I picked up these Alme um, Soft Wipes. This is supposed to be the So Basic Masic Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes. So I wanted to uh, swatch one of the foundations on my cheek, but I wanted to give it a clean surface. So I actually opened this up, and I used one of them, and it burned my face. So I'm not really sure what's in here that um, maybe I'm allergic to. I don't know, I've never had that happen before. I've used so many wipes um, trying to test out different new ones and I've never had that happen before, but something in this really stung and it kind of burned here and here and here. And I am going to actually uh, review this on Influencer. I did take pictures of the um, what it did to my skin so I can put that up and just kind of give people a warning that have sensitive skin. Maybe they might want to stay away from this product. I love Alme lip glosses and I really wanted to try something different from that brand. So when I saw that they had wipes, I went ahead and grabbed one. But I guess this is just going to be uh, for when I do swatches because I cannot put this on my face again. This is supposed to be, it says it's gentle and oil free, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it has the ingredients on it, but nothing would stand out to me. I mean, I don't know what I would be allergic to or anything that's different from any other wipe that I've had. So, like I said, this isn't going on my face again, but just a warning to you guys. Okay, so I think I got like three more products and then we'll be done. So, I, I ran out of my Sigma brush cleaner. I love Sigma so much. Um, they have some amazing brush cleaners. They have the one... Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw it's kind of like this. It has uh, the cleaner inside with the bristles, so you just kind of rub it around. That lasted a very long time. It got my brushes really clean. It smelled really good, uh, but I'm, I like testing new things, so I did pick up the Sephora collection. This is the Solid Brush Cleaner. Um, this, I like the fact that it has a case, and this actually pops in and out, so I can, if I wanted to get... Um, if I wanted to put something else in here, I could, as far as a cleaner goes. And then it does come with a little pad to help clean your brushes. Let me just say, this smells amazing. Like, I don't, I can't even point to what it smells like, but if my brushes end up smelling like this, I'll be so happy because this has got to be one of the top best smelling brush cleaners um, I have ever smelled. But... The question is, is it going to clean my brushes? That's that's the real tea. Um, so I will definitely be testing this out. I, I do need to wash my brushes. Oh, love it. So we'll see how this works and I will get back to you guys and let you know. Uh, but like I said, I love, I love Sigma. They have some great brush cleaners. Um, so if you guys wanna order from them, you can use my code Cassie and save 10% on your order. All right, so up next, I picked up the Pixie Glow Mist. I have actually only tried one thing from Pixie before, if I'm not mistaken, and it was the blush, uh, which is the Beach Rose bl Blush. I love this blush so much, and I always hear great things about their tonic. Um, I think I have a sample somewhere I need to try, but I'm not sure I have to go through my stuff. Uh, but since I'm getting a little bit more into the dewy skin because the look I just did with the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, I use the dewy foundation, um, even though it was a little bit dark for my skin. Uh, and I loved the way my skin looked. It made it look so healthy and just like it was glowing. It was just amazing. I, I could not stop looking at my picture. <laughs> so I thought I would try this. So this is the Pixie Glow Mist and I've heard some really good things about it. Um, it was $15. So I don't know if that's expensive or not because this is 80 milliliters or 
2.7 fluid ounces so we'll see I, I can't wait to see what this does um, and I'm of course I'm gonna use it as an after mist for that glow effect last but not least I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, dip brow gel I got this of course with the 20% off uh, for Sephora um, I'm assuming that this is kind of like the gimme brow from benefit cosmetics that's what I'm assuming that it's like because um, it's like a colored brow gel but yeah I've been debating back and forth about this but I hear really really good things so I cannot wait to give this a try I got this in the shade medium brown uh, which is one of the shades I'm using in the pencils right now I kind of bounce back and forth between medium brown and dark brown I do like darker brows um, so yeah we will see how this works I can't wait to give it a shot Alright guys, so that is it for this haul. Um, it felt like a lot when I was talking about it, but maybe that's just because I was going through the products. I don't really know, but anyways, um, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what type of video that you guys like. Um, the chit chat get ready with me or a full face using drugstore products. Um, I'm really, really curious and I kind of need your, your guidance to pick which video I need to do. So uh, do that for me. Leave me a big old thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.